Hey everyone, it's Kato, and today's video is finally the day. We're gonna be touring my spooky Halloween island. So if you're interested in content like this and you wanna see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time that I post, but let's get right into it. So here we are. I feel like I've been working on this island forever. It has not been forever but it feels that way. If you're interested in seeing any of the process of building this island, I would say 90% of it was done on stream. So I have an entire playlist for that on my channel if you're interested, but here we are. Here is the map of my finished spooky Halloween island. A very interesting looking map. The entire bottom right is just all dirt pathing. Then you've got the left side, which is my villager neighborhood. And I wanted there to be a lot of water there. Then you've got an interesting center section. It's just kind of all over the place, but that's what it is. And here are my villagers. I've got Goldie, Daisy, Tad, Freckles, Lucky, Chatter, Tasha, Kiki, Joey and Callie. So with my villagers, I didn't want them to all be Halloween themed. I just wanted to have a couple Halloween villagers and then the rest of them, I wanted them to just have a Halloween themed island. No, not island, house. A Halloween themed house to look like they've decorated for Halloween. So that's what I went with. This is who we've got and let's just get started with this tour. So this is the entrance. This is what started everything. I never intended to do a Halloween island. I just started building a pumpkin entrance on stream and this is what it turned into. And then things just escalated from there and we ended up with an entire island. And so, yeah. I love the way this entrance looks. It might be one of my favorite entrances that I've done. I just, I really love the overwhelming pumpkin factor. And that's kind of the theme of the island, just overwhelming pumpkin factor. Okay, so if you don't like pumpkins, you're gonna hate my island <laughs> because there's a lot of them. When you come off the entrance to the left, I just have this nooks cranny kind of town section but I wanted it to feel a little spooky with this kind of cauldron right here. I like the fog that comes out of them or the steam rather that comes out of them. Again more pumpkins. All the pumpkins. Yes. Then when you cross over here this is when I wanted it to feel a little bit more natural in this section and this is where I have all of my villager yards. So none of the beaches are decorated. I kind of have them blocked off by water and other objects. So don't go on the beaches. There's nothing there to see. This is Chatter's house right here. And then we have Callie's house over here. She just has this cute pumpkin patch in front of her house. And leading up this way, we have Tad's house. It looks like he is hanging out, gathering some sticks or doing whatever Tad does. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But this is Tad's house right here. Oh, Tad, stop opening those. <laughs> is it you doing that? Don't stop it. Thank you. Keep it closed. Thank you. It's just for decoration, not for you to open. Over here, we have Freckles house Freckles house is probably one of my favorite yards. I like how it fits her personality and it has this blanket section and the garden wagon. I think it's just super cutesy, but still a little bit Halloween with the pumpkins and the treat basket. It's probably my favorite one. Leading up this way, I wanted Able Sisters to be just super casual and kind of just included in what's around it, but not a super focal point. And then I knew I wanted to have a big plaza section. 
right next to it and kind of in the middle of all my villager houses. So that's what this is. I have a pumpkin carving area here and just a cute plaza area with a fountain in the middle. And I like the way this turned out. I like this back section, which you can't actually walk through, but I like the layering of the festival stuff with the pumpkin carriage and all the other pumpkins. That's another one of my favorite areas right there. Then you go back, we've got more villager houses. This is Daisy's house. Um, I wanted to bring in some of the blue and green right here. And then if you come over this way, I like having all the villager houses right near each other on this island. Um, I normally tend to spread them out all over my island, but I kind of like this. We've got Joey's house right here. I even managed to fit in this bunny day decoration and this elephant slide. I don't know what I'm doing. I just thought they looked cute here. <laughs> so that's what we ended up with. Oh, and he loves it. See, he loves his house. Coming up this way, we have Lucky's house and Tasha's house. I love the way they look next to each other. Um, I streamed actually, I just got done streaming as I'm filming this and Pate would not leave my island because I had never spoken to her. And after I talked to her, I was finally able to get her out so we could get Tasha's house and it looks so much better. I love the way that it looks. And coming over here, we have Goldie's house. And then walking through this way, one more house to look at, I think. Yes, last house is Kiki's house. Oh, I love her house. I think it's so cute. Just in general, I think she has a cute house. And then back here, it just leads to the secret beach, which is not really decorated. I didn't do any beach decorating at all for this island. I thought I would just keep it super simple, easy, nothing at all. Okay, let's head back down. If you go back down, we're gonna go through this plaza and we're gonna walk on over to Todd's house which is the second character on my island. Um, and also my husband's character who doesn't play Animal Crossing, but this is his character that I made so I could have a second house. And I wanted his house to feel very, I wanted it to be a pumpkin patch kind of farm vibe, but I wanted it to feel very overgrown and unkempt like he wasn't actually keeping up with it and it just kind of got out of hand and that's what it looks like now. So I love that area. Coming up here, this area is, I wanted this kind of monochromatic white pumpkin section and this kind of started because I wanted to do one of these bridges that didn't really have a river. It was just kind of a focal bridge and you'll see why I wanted to do one here in a second. Um, but I like the way these four bridges ended up turning out with the pumpkin carriage in the middle. I really love the way this area is. And I could see myself doing another area like this in the future without the pumpkins. But this bridge is the whole reason I decided to do it because I have my museum just over there on an island. Um, I wanted a almost like Shutter Island inspired area with the museum. And I felt like this bridge really helped to lift up your character enough to get a slightly better viewpoint than you are if you're flat on the ground. So that's why I added an arched bridge right here. And then this arched bridge led to all four of these bridges so we just have this almost like a park area but you can overlook the museum in the back and we're gonna go back down here through resident services will actually take you back towards the entrance kind of so right here is the entrance so if instead of going left if you decide to go right, 
This was probably the second thing that I worked on on my island is an abandoned carnival area. I, this is by far my favorite part of the island. It took so much time, but I feel like it really paid off. Adding all the candles, I like the abandoned feeling of it. We have this carousel here, which was heavily inspired by Crossing Colleen. I love the way it turned out. I love the pumpkin in the middle. Um, normally she uses one of the nuptial bells in the middle, which I also really love. But making a carnival with hardly any carnival items was not an easy task. But I think we managed to do it. I love the way it turned out. Over here, I made this slightly elevated area so you could get a look at the circus tent in the distance and I love the way the circus turned out there's probably more lighting than there should be for an abandoned carnival but I feel like the lighting kind of sets the mood you know without it it just feels kind of you know dim and drab and which isn't a bad thing but I really like all the lighting everywhere we got this puppet puppet show area, an animal, um, what would this be called? Like an animal cart, animal, I don't know, animal section, <laughs> fortune teller, and then a ticket booth over here. So yeah, I really like the way this carnival turned out. I think it's super spooky and fun, and I normally don't create areas like this, so this was a lot of fun to make. Then if you head back this way, I have this spooky forest area and I don't want to admit how long this took me to create. I do have a speed build on this where I actually recreated it and that's what you see here is the recreated version because I wanted to go through and add the pathing in the middle. Now if you go up this way, it'll take you right back to the bridge area that we just talked about, but over here spooky forest and then I knew I wanted to have the campsite just hidden in here and I love this. I love this. A forest area is such a good way to fill space on your island but it still feels nice and full and yeah I love it. I love the spooky forest. Right here we have this cave pattern which I love the way that looks. And to the left, I have a graveyard section, which is right next to my haunted mansion, which is up on this cliff. And this haunted mansion was such a process, such a process to get to this point. But I ended up really liking the way that it turned out. Uh, I think the spooky trees were kind of necessary here to really bring home the spookiness of it. I was struggling with that, but I think I think the spooky trees helped. I like the continuation of the graveyard up here onto this ledge and then into the haunted mansion. I did decorate inside the haunted mansion, so please go and check that out. Um, let me know what you think. And if you hang out during my streams, there's a special room in there for all of you. You will know it when you see it, I promise. <laughs> so, that is everything. That's the Spooky Island. I feel like there isn't that much. I mean, I think it's just all of the areas are so large that, um, yeah, that's it. That's Spooky Island. I'm so glad to finally be done with it. Overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I hope you all enjoy it. I will pop up the map here again with the dream address, so please come and visit. If you take pictures, feel free to tag me on Twitter, Instagram, or just send me pictures over in Discord, however you want to do it. I would love to see your pictures. Let me know your favorite part of the island down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!